What is going on, you guys? It's your host, Galadon. Thank you for stopping by another Clash Royale episode. Free Battle Rams for everybody. Everybody who can win uh, five matches in the Classic Battle Ram Challenge, that is, on their first try. Because you get one free entry in the Classic Battle Ram Challenge. Make your own deck with a Battle Ram. And much like you saw with the Electro Wizard Challenge, it rewards you if you get enough wins. The great part about this is you can be average like me and still get some good cards because you can get some battle rams starting at five wins. I tried out a few battles with this guy here. You might have seen him before on the YouTubes. His name is Chief Pat. You can check out his channel right there. And you can also check out another battle between he and I uh, that he's going to be posting uh, where he might have done just a little bit better uh, than he did in this battle. So we thought we would give a try to some battle ramage along with some other new cards. Of course, we have the overpowered kind of broken executioner uh, right now in there and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Chief Pat bringing the Inferno Dragon and uh, trying to just, uh, I don't know what pay to win me here. He's got these legendary cards. I don't need legendaries. I've got pretty basic other overpowered stuff like the Elite Barbs and the Battle Ram. 10 Elixir combination coming out the right hand side. Getting in after the tower, and he is going to try to counter it there. Now, we're just kind of goofing off right here, just trying to show how that battle ram works. You see, when they drop the ram, there's still two barbarians left over. They own that. Oh, okay, well, I lost my tower too, but nonetheless, we did take his tower. So, pretty cool the way it works. They will target a building specifically. They will go after that building with nothing else in mind. They will run past any other unit that they can get around go after the building, and again, once they lose that battle ram due to damage or ramming it into a structure, then there's two barbarians to fight for you, so it's kind of a pretty cool card, I have to admit. It's extremely unique. You can see right here the fireball did not get rid of the battle ram. It did go down before it got to the tower, though, and the barbarians, they get handled by the skeleton army. Now, this is a fun card. Very cool to see a new card with completely new mechanics. But now check out this part of the battle. This was pretty amazing. So Pat and I both kind of decided that we would just right lane rush the other guy at this point and just go for the quick three and see what happens. So he goes hard on the left hand side. I go hard on the right. Of course he's got an Inferno Dragon so it doesn't look good. It's burning me down over there on the left. I'm trying to control it. Pushing hard on the right and it's going to be a race that I just barely win. 28 hit points left on the King's Tower. And that was just a crazy battle uh, between Pat and I. Way close than either one of us expected. So, yes, it is a fantastic new card with a completely unique mechanic. And that is what I am so excited about. But unfortunately for now, it's a little bit broken because of the Executioner stopping its charge. And that's something we'll get to in just a little bit. So we're just taking a look at the screens here for the Battle Ram Classic and Grand Battle Ram Challenge. And right here, so you're going to see the rewards pretty similar, well, exactly the same as the rewards in your regular challenges. As the wins go up, the cards and the gold reward goes up, but the rewards in the Battle Ram cards don't start until you get to five wins and then increase every two wins all the way up to that big, momentous, very easy to get for some people, hard for others like me, 12th win. So uh, pretty cool. And again, you get your first entry for free of the classic only, the classic Battle Ram Challenge. The Grand Battle Ram Challenge, again, costs 100 gems. The classic is 10. This, of course, right here, you guys, I'm doing with the developer build. So that's why we're just adding the wins on right now, just so you can see the individual rewards here each and every time we run through this. So if you ever need a reference, it's all right here for you. Again, the Battle Ram cards are included within this. There's just a minimum that you're going to get in each one. So right here, we're going to go ahead and open a 12 win Grand Battle Ram Challenge chest. OMG. Okay, and uh, so here it is. So you got the 13 flips, a massive amount of gold. And again, you're going to get a minimum of the card numbers that I'm going to talk about in a minute. If you've already unlocked the Battle Ram, any rare card, could end up being more Battle Rams. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to get a minimum number. There it is right there, 50 Battle Rams out of this chest. That was the absolute minimum. Could have gotten more of these Musketeers, could have been Battle Rams. And of course, because, yeah, Legendary Curse, typical, I just grabbed the clone spells there at the end. 
All right, so here are the exact rewards. Now remember, the 100 gem reward is just going to be 10 times the 10 gem reward. So you need to get at least five wins, no matter which challenge you're in, in order to unlock that Battle Ram card. So five or six wins gets you one Battle Ram or 10 if you spent 100 gems. Seven to eight wins gets you two or 20. Nine to 10 wins gets you three or 30. The 11th win gets you an extra one or 10 cards, takes you up to four Battle Rams or 40. And then finally, for you guys that can roll through 12 wins again and again, five Battle Rams or 50 Battle Rams if you spent the 100 gems and entered the Grand Battle Ram Challenge. So I don't know, you guys. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of different decks, but I'm going to go ahead and share with you a secret, okay? And this is going to change, I believe, because it's an unintended effect of the Executioner. But the Executioner stops the charge of the Battle Ram. And that's huge. That's actually really bad news for the Battle Ram right now. So I have a feeling in this challenge, every single deck you see is going to have the Executioner. My suggestion is, I don't know, maybe try not to use the Battle Ram that much or use it when the Executioner is out of rotation because it's just a little bit broken right now. The Executioner, well, like we've seen so many other cards coming in and just being pretty much OP in its early days. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. One more look at the screens where you're going to get one free entry and one free entry only to the classic Battle Ram Challenge. You got to pay gems for that Grand Battle Ram Challenge right off the start. And again, so let's go back over here, magically add 12 wins and open another chest just to see if maybe can Galadon break the Legendary Curse on the developer build, okay? Because obviously, well, we, we know how that goes. So we get through here once again, looking for Battle Rams. This is a Grand Challenge 12 win, 12 win chest. So a minimum of 50 there. This time we got 60 and we picked up 10 Tornadoes. So that just shows how you get a minimum of 50, but not necessarily. Now here is a five win chest from the classic Battle Ram Challenge. So this is more typical of say what I would end up with. <laughs> This, there it is, just one Battle Ram, so that would be how you unlock it. Now, of course, you won't be picking up Battle Rams in your regular chests yet, but you can get them in the Battle Ram reward chests. All right, let's move into some gameplay here and take a look at some Battle Ram action. And uh, first of all, I'm just going to show you how the Executioner works and just annihilates the Battle Ram. Check out the charge right there. The Battle Ram's charge is stopped, is stunned temporarily by the Executioner. Uh, apparently that is an unintended effect, and we will see that changed at the next update, I believe. For now, unfortunately, it does that, and that really does hurt the Battle Ram's chances. Now, you never know. Don't take this 100%. That might not be a change, but it seems to me like the Executioner pretty overpowered right now. Also, how he takes out units behind him, I think that's going away as well, but we'll handle that in another episode. Right here, the Skarmy absolutely annihilates the Battle Ram and its following Barbarians. So you can see they would have continued their way. It didn't stop the charge, but obviously the damage never gave the Ram or the Barbs a chance to get to the tower. Right here, we're going to drop another Battle Ram. Watch it go after this. Here comes the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And she is going to or it or whatever see there okay you get the point so it goes after the battle ram damage itself first then after the elite barbs or the regular barbs regular barbs don't get me wrong all right one more time battle ram coming in this time the skeletons pushes them aside fireball and the skeletons oh and look what a surprise we've got a uh, a very common galadon rage quit right there on our hands as galadon wait, wait galadon quit the uh, anyway so galadon quit the match Going to drop another Battle Ram in on its way after the tower. And it looks like there it is. <laughs> Love that animation. The barbs get in. Time runs out. And yes, Galadon is going to win it once again. Let me tell you, I am undefeated in these type of matches. All right, you guys. Thank you, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for the earliest possible update and sneak peek information. And, of course, Daily Clash content. You guys are the true hashtag Galafam. Have a great day. Come back tomorrow for what? More full attacks. Galidon, no more caffeine for you.